So the first thing I'm going to do is draw the circles. So the radius of the first one is going to be 95. And that circle I'm going to draw lightly for now. After that then, you take away 10 mil for your inner circle. So we go from 95 to 85. And once again, I'm going to draw those circles in lightly. After that, I'm going to take my horizontal line through the entire circle. And from the measurements, I'm told you go out 20 from the outside of both circles. The distances on the sides, they're up 10 and 10 on the left. And on the right hand side, you go down 10 and down 10. So 10 there and there up 10 there and up 10 there. So the next thing I can see then is this 10 that goes down here, that joins through the center point to connect to the 10 on the far side over there. And I'm going to draw that lightly once again. When I go up 10 then, my line goes lightly across and through my center point. So I'm going to take a center point line down there and it goes 40 out to the right. What I can do now is draw my heavy line from there to there. I'm going to take it down there for now. And the angle then goes at 45 degrees. And that goes down 45 until it hits that sloping line out there. So down at 45 degrees, I can go heavy across to this side, heavy down for my 10, and it's going to take a light line across for now, and I'm going to start measuring 40 on the other side. So now I can measure my 40 on the other side. It's the same angle again. It goes at 45 degrees up until it hits my slope line there. I can join that heavy back to there and draw it heavy across to there. The last thing then to do is draw my circles in heavy up until I hit my logo in the middle. So I'm going to stop it there, go heavy all the way around to that side there. And then same again for my outer circle. I'm going to stop there and go heavy around the rest of the way to hit the far side. And that completes the logo.